A quick tip before we start. Obsidian has too many options to set up almost anything. It can be overwhelming or lead to procrastination. But you don't need to set up everything at once. Take your time. It was only after using Obsidian for a long time that I understood what I would like to do quickly. And it was just yesterday that I started setting some of the keyboard shortcuts. So let me show you how to set your own keyboard shortcuts, share some of the ones I'm using, and at the end of the video I'll share another tip that goes well with the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, let's go to settings and then hot keys. And here's where you can see the keyboard shortcuts that are already set, change them if you want to, or create your own. Obsidian has a quick switcher, just like the Switch 2 on Evernote, but here the keyboard shortcut, as you can see, is Command O, at least on the Mac. Maybe it's Control O on Windows, I don't know. I wanted to make my life easier, and this is the first one I changed, so all you have to do is remove this one, add a new one, and press the keys, so Command J. And now I have the same keyboard shortcut I was used to on Evernote. So now, common J, and I can start typing and jump to another note or file or whatever it is. Another keyboard shortcut that is set here is the common T. This will open a new tab. I guess they choose to common T to make it similar to Chrome, but I never use this. What I usually do is if I want to go to this note, I hold the common key and click on it, and Obsidian will open it in a new tab. It even works on the sidebar. All I have to do is hold the common key and click here, and there it is. So this is what I usually do, but one thing I'm using all the time are the templates. So I change, let's go back to the hotkeys, look for templates, and insert current date, insert current time, insert template. Common T. But as you can see here, it's showing me that there is a conflict. So I have to go back here and look for the other common T, new tab, and remove this from here. And now I can use the common T to see my templates, choose one, and insert it in a note. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> there will be another video about templates. And this is the perfect segue to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you like what I do here, because more than half of you are not subscribed and subscribing helps a lot. Okay, I have a confession to make. <laughs> I just remembered that I have a very old keyboard shortcut I said it a long time ago, it's shift command X. I don't know why I did it like this, maybe because of the position of the keys, and this will insert the current time. And since this is my test account, let's set it here together. So let's look for time, current time, add a keyboard shortcut, shift command X, and now if I go to a note and type shift common X, I get the time. And I set this to be used with the daily note, which is something that we are also not talking about today. But let me click here, uh, open daily note, shift common X, type something, and then shift common X again, and type something. I also have a keyboard shortcut for the daily note, that is, Command D, so let's set that, and daily note, add Command D. Again, there is another Command D, so we have to find it and remove, delete paragraph, let's remove this one. Okay, I think you got the idea, the other two shortcuts I created are Command M to open the map, the one I showed you in a recent video, and Command Shift M to Add the geo tag, geo location in the node. Go watch the other video and you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a look at the tip I promised you, the extra tip. 
Remember the daily note I just talked about? Now that I have a keyboard shortcut, maybe I don't want this icon here anymore. So just right click here and as you can see, open today's daily note. I can uncheck this and now that is gone. I can also rearrange these icons and if in the future I think that removing the icon was a mistake, I can always come back and add it again. I'm always trying to use mass and chaos in my favor to try to figure out what I need. There is an article that I talk about this in more detail. You'll find the link in the description below. And if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But if you want to help even more, please consider becoming a Patreon or a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.